So the reason I do this, oh, I don't do that. Hi guys, it's Michelle. So I am here for a video that I've been wanting to kind of put up for a long time. I have done a video, I've deleted it, I've done one, I've deleted it. My kind of reservations in making a video on how to steam your wig were because what I do when I am steaming a synthetic wig, I am not using a wig steamer. So because I don't have an actual wig steamer at present, I am using a handheld garment steamer. I was a bit dubious about uploading this because I don't want to be saying to you this is what you can do and then you do something and it it doesn't work or you know <laughs> okay I'm going to talk over this slightly and then I'm going to crack on you can watch the video please watch the video before you decide if it's something you want to do or not if you ever do anything obviously please ensure you know what you're doing and um, why you're doing it and that anything you do is absolutely at your own risk you need to take care of your hair and look after it well now using steam can absolutely rejuvenate a wig this wig is been steamed if you had seen this wig at the start of the video which you are actually about to see this looks like it was absolutely on its last legs and it looks brand spanking new pretty much again this is a year old this is a John Renault Zara it's a synthetic wig it is one year old okay so let's talk things I want to mention before we begin okay first of all what you need you need a wig that you want to steam ideally you're doing this to rejuvenate this is a kind of how to rejuvenate your wig using steam so use your wig um, you want something either a canvas block head or like what I used my wee mannequin heads here I used T-pins to pin my wig securely on to my mannequin head you want a kind of wide tooth comb I've got my John No Easy Hair one because that's kind of ideal I did also use a brush be careful if you use a brush be very very careful very careful use one with kind of plasticky bristles that are semi-rigid you don't want to be tearing the hair remember this hair as you steam it is going to be soaking wet with steam you really shouldn't be brushing a lot of fibre while your hair is wet so be very very careful you don't want to have the kind of opposite effect you don't want to be trying to rejuvenate it and actually destroy it so be very careful when you're steaming you're going to be doing it from the bottom sections steaming and then bring the steamer up you want to constantly be moving that around this steamer as you're doing it these are just kind of wee important tips in case I've not mentioned it as I'm, as I'm doing it in the video you kind of want to be constantly you don't steam it on your head and never steam it on your head you will scald yourself badly but when your wig is on its um, mannequin head you're going to constantly be moving this around constantly so your steam is just coming away coming away you're not holding it on one section like and having the steam all blasting out because you don't want it you want the steam to be moving around that acrylic fiber um, you do not want you don't want it to be that it gets to the extent it's so hot there's like the boiling water basically before it's evaporated you don't want it to be the actual boil water touching the wig because you know you do not want high heat what I have done you will see this is a clothes steamer that I am using you will see that I actually have popped on this lint remover type thing on the front of it this is how it comes this one comes with two attachments I don't use the attachments whatsoever for my wig this is purely to steam my wigs that I use this the reason I have put this on I think I mentioned in the video is purely because you never want that metal this gets scalding hot boiling hot boiling hot this gets so hot you do not want to burn yourself you do not want your synthetic hair to touch it because it will melt it it will melt it so the reason I do this, oh, I don't do that. <laughs> the reason that I pop the guard on here, that's not touching my wig. But basically, if I get a wee bit too close, then the wig's not going to touch the metal. It might touch this, but it will not touch the metal. So you, want you will know yourselves. Um, acrylic wigs are very easy to look after because when you wash them, they do not change shape. They have a kind of memory. The 
fibre does not change, the structures just stay basically rigid so it's always going to return back to the shape it was before washed. However, when you use this, if you change the shape of it, like if I was, say, like when I did this, basically this went poker straight. Had I not then just gone like that and curled it under, it would have remained poker straight. So, with the heat, you can restyle, but just make sure you know what you're doing as you go. One thing I always kind of make sure, um, I always ensure that when I am steaming my wig and my wig is on its mannequin head, I never kind of blast around the top section here or right in. Obviously, I want to get some steam over, I will miss it. I tend to kind of be constantly moving more quickly along the kind of top areas and in at the nape because the likes of this wig has machine wefts so that's fine, that here's secure but the likes of this is obviously hand knotted into the monofilament I do not want to heat it and cause with the moisture and the heat those knots to loosen off and then because then the hair will fall out so I am not wanting I am very gently doing that letting it cool a bit going over it again letting it cool a bit more steam letting it cool whereas nearer the ends you'll see me kind of giving it all of this <laughs> so the, the idea is keep it going for a wig like this kind of length ideally it will take you about 15 minutes to steam a synthetic wig this length if you are steaming the full wig. That's not a steam styling, that's just kind of to give it a full good old soaking to rejuvenate it. That'll take approximately 15 minutes. So this handheld steamer, this particular one I would recommend because it has a 260ml capacity tank so that's, that's a good amount of water and that, believe it or not, at the power of this, this goes at 20 mils per minute. So basically, this will have a continuous stream of steam for 14 minutes. Um, it is a good power. What is the power? What is the power? I can't remember. However, it is not so strong as to blow your wee wig like pfft, you don't want it to be. Whew! too much force, um, or too much power, sorry. You want too much power coming out of it. You, this is this is perfect. Now, this is called Butural. Butural is the make of it. I got this from Amazon. This only takes 35 seconds to heat up. I do not work for the company. I make nothing whether you buy this or whether you don't. Um, but for me, it's basically a case of fill it. It's the perfect amount to steam the wig that I want to steam, easy, done. I don't want to be topping up in the middle, I don't want to be fiddling about with power settings, I just want to have it easy, press a button and off a pop. That's what I get with this. Plus, this cost me £29.99, pence, I believe it was. Um, I think that was on sale um, on Amazon, however, it was a really good deal. I love it, it's great. Without further ado, I have spoken for ages this is my John and Ozara. This is it being fully steamed. So if we have a wee look at my wig here, it's a wee bit underneath if you see. It looks like it's getting a bit matted. It's not the best looking condition. What you'll often see if you have seen anybody steaming a wig before is that they will often say, you know, comb first and then steam next. Um, just so that you don't kind of change the shape of the fibres. I'm not so fussed about that because I will be kind of resetting this with a brush as well. Okay, so Let's crack on. Okay, move my inhaler out the way. Obviously, don't be touching. If you're using steam, <laughs> anything metal is going to get very hot, so be very careful not to be touching it. Okay, so just do small sections at a time. A big wide tooth comb and basically off we go. I'm actually going to switch to a brush at this point because I'm going to kind of
turn mine under as I'm steaming. If I have it totally poker straight as I steam it, the kind of warm steam, I'll see if I can show you, will change this and make this a poker straight type of wig. But I like to keep that kind of slight turn under that I have on it. A rounder brush is actually better so that you can swirl. And what you want to do is just make sure that the actual element from the steamer is not touching the wig. It is literally just the steam that is kind of going right through this. Now as you'll see it does leave it extremely wet, that is okay. Be very careful if you if you use a brush be very careful um, doing so while this is wet. Always start from the kind of bottom, steam, 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 higher up. Don't start from the top and then you have resistance with any friction that can cause further damage. Start from low down. I'm just going to take my brush just to kind of make this turned under. And just be sure not to burn yourself in the process. I have burned myself before. It is not pleasant if you scald yourself, believe me. It looks like I have some flyaway hair sticking out, I'm just patting down. So I'm kind of focusing very much on the bottom just now as I'm doing this and my reason for that is to get the bottom organised first before I move up the wig and the bottom tends to be where I have a lot of friction kind of damage with my wigs and at the nape of the neck. Now this is very wet just now, it is synthetic, it will dry quickly. Now, but what you can see is that even though Previously, you had all these parts sticking out, it looks much smoother. You will see, if you can see closely, the ends here still look ever so slightly friable. So I'm just going to give them an extra blast and then move on to the side and then check the underneath at the nape of the neck. Now, if any of you girls there have a curly wig or a wavy wig that you start to steam, um, for example, the John Renault Sarah is a beautiful wig. Um, for me, I tend to get curlier wigs. They tend to get more friction fizz more quickly with me. I'm not sure if it's just the way I wear them. If you steam a synthetic wig which is curly, and you start brushing it straight, you will lose those curls if you brush it straight and you will be resetting the fibre memory to straight. So if you're wanting to keep those curls and steam the wig, then there is another way to do that. You would give it a brush through. What I would recommend is give it a, give it a good wash, a soak in your balsam or conditioner. Um, I would then leave it to dry, give it a good brush, soak it and set it in the rollers that match the curl you have or alternatively you don't brush it as you steam it you literally just use the steam soak it and use a bobby pin and pin it in its curl shape it's more complex with a curly wig because you need to watch you don't leave indentations if you do start pinning that can be another day's tutorial i will get a curly wig and i will show you how to do that um, because at the moment I don't have any curly ones. So. Honestly, I mean, what I do is I don't wait until my wig is absolutely 
on its last legs. As soon as I start to notice that kind of friction look and when a wash doesn't kind of salvage the condition, that's when I decide I'm going to give this another steam. I feel that John Renault um, synthetic hair fibre feels very, very fine. Um, it does not feel quite as thick as some other brands synthetic acrylic textures. So it steams beautifully and when it's steamed it just looks brand new again. I've also seen videos online of people using boiling water and pouring it over their wig. If you have an acrylic wig, I do not recommend you do that because water boils at 100 degrees centigrade, 200 Fahrenheit, and your acrylic wig really cannot withstand any more than about 74, 75 degrees centigrade maximum. So if you pour boiling water over your acrylic wig you will damage the integrity of that fibre you will now obviously steam is water that is boiled and evaporated so keep it moving and just make sure that the element does not touch you might wonder why I put this kind of lint catcher on it's just to create some extra distance in case I get too close the metal's not going to just touch my wig and melt it, then it gives me that wee kind of, it'll touch this first of all. So, that's because I can be clumsy at times. So what I'm doing now is parting the hair here, and I just want to get plenty of steam in around this section here underneath. What I don't want to do is soak up at the roots where I have knotting because I don't want it to be the heat and the moisture. I don't want that to cause any knotting to loosen. Be wary of that if you have a hand tied cap. Do not be going really close up top. If you do, then mist it, move away, mist it, move away and let it cool, mist it and move away, don't blast, like I'm holding it here and moving around the same section for quite a period of time. Keep the steamer moving, do not have it blasting on one specific area, keep it moving, just up and down the same part, comb away as you're doing it if you want to be doing that. Bear in mind, the more you comb and brush, like if I do this, I'm using a brush here, I am basically setting the back of this wig to poker straight. This will dry poker straight if I do this. So just bear that in mind guys. And if you make your wig poker straight and it's not the finished appearance you want, you are going to have to use, it's not a problem, but you're going to have to use steam again to get that wig back to the beautiful shape that you had at previously. I do not recommend you buy steam straighteners or anything. People have said to me they have bought steam flat irons, they've got on okay. Personally for me I wouldn't use them because the way that they tend to be manufactured to work is that the element still heats up to kind of minimum 110 degrees centigrade which is way beyond what an acrylic wig can handle. It just generates heat, it is um, steam at the same time. Steam is released, but you're having direct heat against that acrylic, which is going to cause it to melt. And if it doesn't melt, and if you're lucky and it doesn't melt, you're still compromising the integrity of that fibre. You are. So be very, very careful. I mean, if you do this to your wig, please don't do this and go, but Michelle, you said it would be safe. The first time I did this, I did this in a wig that I basically was about to put in the bin and I figured if it helps my wig, then that's a bonus. 
and if it absolutely damages my wig beyond repair that's okay because I couldn't wear it any longer anyway I was very lucky it worked out well but honestly there's there's it's not rocket science it's not really difficult but be aware of the way your wig is constructed if you are not sure of your cap construction basically if you have a hand tied cap or a monofilament cap do not be soaking the roots with hot steam um, and if you do like just blast and move like what I'm doing here don't focus it and hold it because you are at risk of then loosening some of that hand tied section and you don't want your wig to develop alopecia I am honestly of the belief that this is a year old because the power of the steam. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, if you're unsure of what you're doing, don't attempt anything you're unsure of. If you've got any questions for me down below, by all means ask. Um, I believe there will be wig salons out there that may offer a kind of wig rejuvenation service for you at a cost. However, if you are not sure what you are doing with your wigs, if you don't know how to rejuvenate it, or if it's a curly wig then, there's a slightly different method again and it can be more complex. So if you are unsure of what you're doing, please be safe. Please find out the price that it would cost for a salon to do this professionally for you and then you're covered. Um, do not run the risk of damaging a very expensive wig when you could, if, if you're not confident. Because this is done at your own risk. If you do this, you're doing this at your own risk. No wig company under the sun is going to uh, is going to recommend that somebody not trained and qualified in the kind of process of wig rejuvenation would attempt this themselves from home. I would not think that any company is going to recommend that. Now, when I did this for the first time, I took a massive risk. I had a wig that was honestly on its very last legs. I was about to put it in the bin and I thought, I'm going to try and steam it and see what happens. I'm going to see if it makes a difference. Um, and I did, and it did. However, I was willing for, had it gone pear shaped and totally wrong and the wig had been like melted, it would have been okay because that wig, as far as I was concerned, I could not get any more use out of it. It was gonna to have to go in the bin anyway. So it was a case of it's going in the bin or best case scenario, you know, it works. I did not expect it to and it really did. Um, I've been learning a lot about wigs, about cap construction, about how um, the fibres are attached to the hay, um, to the caps, different cap types, different styles, different knotting techniques, different structure, all sorts of things and it's made me realise there is so much more going on with wigs and so much more that what might make this safe to do in one wig might not make it safe to do it on another or like there are risks to bear in mind, just saying. So. For me this works, if you choose to do it, let me know how it pans out. Don't ever put direct heat onto an acrylic wig is my recommendation, just don't. Unless you can guarantee you're not going to go over above 70 degrees centigrade, don't do it. And even at 70 degrees centigrade you're really pushing your limits with um, ensuring that acrylic is going to be safe. So steam's the way forward, if you must use any sort of heat, don't use boiling water, steam. Get steaming, get steaming with your wig. Zara and I are about to get steaming. Mwah. Bye.